all right guys so i'm going to post office but i want to talk to you to see some updates so far uh i think this pedal assist or whatever they call it speed mode is not really helping to pedal much just uh after running maybe it gave you a little bit of assist but you have to pedal like at least maybe 50 meters first before it will kick in so i'll go to the speed mode level three as you can see it's still very slow but for the reason is if you're gonna go faster you uh, you'll know okay now it's kicking so it takes some time before it will kick in so there is some delay programming The dogs doesn't like bikes. It's normal. So I'm not really uh, impressed with this bike at all. Like uh, compared to the Jupiter, actually. I know Jupiter have smaller battery. The Jupiter X5 is the one I have, but it's very similar bikes. The brakes still need to be adjusted. I just didn't really care much about the brakes anymore because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this bike. It's, I would say the pedal assist a little bit weird. It's, um, let's say right now, does not give me any assist. I'm on uh, speed three. and try to only much faster so you can do both pedal assist and level 3 I guess but they just I'm not sure why they put the three modes they could have only one as a Jason Ball Pro because the first one and two almost give you no assist at all like right now I don't feel any assist now it's getting kick so it takes about five seconds maybe before it's will kick in the throttle works pretty good there is almost no delay it's pretty quick pick you up to speed up to like 16 miles 17 miles depending on your weight so it's a little bit faster than just about pro on the throttle only but as a pedaling i think it would be probably the same or even slow i would not see any difference uh, more stable on the road i can see and uh, they see it it's too close to handlebar and it's not real comfortable to ride this on the seat so i think the bigger seat must to come to this bike in order to ride it for longer distance even for one mile i feel like my butt is not happy um, on this bike uh, because the position and i got used to the better bike now so this one is small mini bike but i'm not sure if it's worth 650 dollars to pay for this bike uh, if you can pay extra 100 dollars you can get a really nice bike or even 200 dollars you can get much faster better road handling off-road as well it might be a little bit heavier because it will have bigger wheels like 20 inch but you got bigger battery bigger motors fast about up to 28 miles easily so I'm not sure if it's a good deal I think it's just fair deal 
and it's uh, not gonna replace somebody off-road bicycle you can pedal it no problem 511 I'm So I'm here, and I think post office is closed today. All right, so the post office was closed, but I was able to drop some mail. It is much faster for me to ride the bicycle. So this bicycle is okay for short commute. I would say it's same as the Jason Bolt Pro. I don't see much justification like uh, for somebody who is uh, thinking to change from Jason Bolt Pro to case um, just because they're thinking it's gonna be faster to miles or make any modification on this bike because this bike does not really Going any faster other than like two miles, it's not worth to pay three hundred dollars more. Also, the only reason I would recommend this bike if you want a portable battery so you can remove it, and uh, because just on Bolt Pro, the battery stay inside, you cannot remove it, and um, the speed mode will not really make any difference for you as Jason Ball Pro. The light, uh, I don't think it's worth the money. The weight is about the same. It's only the battery, if you want also a longer range. But I noticed this battery is supposed to have, um, it's supposed to be the same size as uh, Electrix XP light. So 360 watt hours in it. And same thing like um, Voyager Regis Pro. And I noticed I only rode like maybe two miles on the bike. I already have three bar. It's kind of strange. So I'm not sure if the battery holding well. Uh, I never did this uh, distance test on this bike, and I probably will not do it. I'm not sure yet. Um, also, I'm heavy, but I rode uh, the other bicycle. Let's say Voyager. This guy does not even watch him to the right when he's making turn. Uh, people don't pay attention when they make turns so very careful when you're crossing the road because people are paying only attention to one side but when they turn the other side and we have a lot of seniors I'm like this lady anyways um, I'm gonna make a new video before you start to ride this bike what you should do and what you should know so please hit subscribe like this video so you will let other people to watch it I might test the bicycle for see if there is cruise control in it so let's see if it's there so I'll press the button and release and sure it is so this bicycle does have, comes with cruise control and it's easy to use uh, you just uh, use a throttle and press the button and it will kick in up to the top speed okay so cruise control works pretty well so you don't have to pedal just enjoy the ride and again i will make a new video with all this information what you should know before you start to ride the bicycle how to storage the battery to get longer life out of this battery because the battery is most expensive part of this bicycle or any electric bicycle and anytime you press the brakes it will uh, release the cruise control And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.